Now we're going to be joined live by Dr. Michio Kaku, professor of physics at the City University of New York and host of Sci-Fi Science on the Sci-Fi Channel. Good to have you back, Great uh, to be Dr. On. Kaku. You know, we've been talking a lot, and you were talking a lot to us in the, in the coming days, and these, these uh, days leading up to this, about the pressure. Mm -hmm. We're hearing about 7,000 psi. People were concerned the pressure was going to be too high. 7,000 could be higher. That's right. It's premature to open the champagne bottles, but this weekend we'll know whether we tame the monster or not. If you have a fire hydrant, it's raging out of control and you stop it too quickly, the pipes could burst, in which case pressure begins to drop. That's the nightmare scenario. That's why we're holding our breath right now. And George was, was talking to us earlier and saying also, could it be that it's maybe finally running out of oil down there too? That's what happened in 1979 in Mexico. The mother of all oil leaks took place back in the 1970s and it gradually, the pressure just gradually dropped. Mm -hmm. But they also used the relief well. That's the gold standard. You simply choke it from the bottom, cap it from the top, a one-two punch. Mm -hmm. Cap it from the top, choke the bottom. 48 hours, hours, we keep hearing about this crucial time period. What exactly will they be monitoring and looking for? They'll be looking for any abrupt drops in pressure. That's the danger sign, because it means you've ruptured a pipe someplace. Remember that when the explosion took place, it caused unknown damage to the pipe. We don't know the situation with regards to that pipe. So we hope that there's not a drop in pressure, which would indicate a leak, and then you would see oil seeping out from the crust of the Earth itself. But also what we heard Matt Gutman just reporting about the seismic pressure going on on the sea floor. That's right. They're analyzing the sea floor very carefully, looking for pockets of gas, uh, seepage of oil, any anomaly in the crust of the earth indicating that there's a burst pipe down there. That is a nightmare scenario. So far, we don't see that taking place, but hold off on the champagne bottles. No, I know. We, believe me, and I know the people on the coast really are on the Gulf are, are not popping any champagne right now. But when we see that um, it, it, there's no oil right now, but if we see that they have to open a cap again, that's not necessarily a sign of failure, is it? We have redundancy now. For the first time in three months, we have options. What we can also do is siphon off the oil. So at some point, we may actually open up the valves, right. actually release some oil, and siphon off the rest. And remember, by the end of the month, that's when we have the relief wells in place. But remember, even then, it's a lottery getting the relief wells to hit that, hit that yeah. pipe on the first try. It may take weeks before we get that worked out. And one line on the earthquakes in D.C.? Well, you know, the Northeast is riddled with tiny micro faults. We forget that. We, we're, we're complacent. We think that the, the ground on our Earth is stable. It's not. All right. Dr. Kaku, thank you very much again. Have a good weekend.